As the race for the Ondo state government reaches a climax, the Labour Party has been rounding off its campaign at the Freedom Park in Akure, the state capital. The party's flag bearer and incumbent governor, Ulushe Gumimiko, was joined by top politicians and party members, including elder statesman Chief Olu Falae and the president of the Nigeria Labour Congress, Abdul Wahid Omar, to persuade Ondo citizens to vote for the incumbent governor at the polls. Governor Mimiko's orange carnival birthed at the Ondo state capital, Akure, as the incumbent rounds off campaigns ahead of the October 20th gubernatorial election. Again, the workers and artisans of the state troop out under the Labour Party canopy to call for votes to keep Governor Mimiko in office for another four years. This Akure campaign is further spiced by mild entertainment fronted by top entertainers, including actor Said Balogun and veteran comedian Sonia Mobalale, popularly known as Papi Lua. Afterwards, testimonies from top quarters, including the Nigerian Labour Congress, pour to buttress reasons why Mimiko should be voted back in. As I speak to you today, Governor Mimiko is paying the highest, genuine, authentic national minimum wage of 22,000 Naira in Nigeria. And not only that, Governor Mimiko has never for once decided that the workforce is too much. The workforce is overbloated and therefore he's going to downsize or rise size or whatever. The election of next Saturday is not to determine who wins. That is settled in heaven. It is settled on earth and in heaven. What is at issue, what we want to determine and find out is the margin of victory. And the man whose boat is being paddled shows appreciation for their support and promise not to let them down if re-elected. Labour Party. So in the next four years, we are going to renew our cities for that. We are going to make our cities functional. We are going to provide cutting-edge facilities in our cities. Let me tell you the roads we are building. It is coming with the full complement of furniture that any road anywhere in the world can have. It has medium. It has light. It has walkway. It has setbacks. It has car park. It has in that walkway. It is the best road that you can have. With the election just days away, the way to see if this mammoth support will translate into votes for Governor Mimiko is almost over. The Action Congress of Nigeria has also been putting finishing touches to its campaign ahead of Saturday's governorship election with a rally in Akure, the state capital. Thousands of supporters turned out to join leaders and governors of the ACN for Mekiti, Lagos, Oshun, Edo and Oyo states to witness the official handover of the party's flag to its candidate, Mr. Rutsimi Akirudulu. Addressing supporters at the rally, Mr. Akirudulu and the national leader of the party, Mr. Bola Tunubu, told supporters to cast their votes for the party's flag bearer, who is capable of providing the leadership the state needs. In the last four years, we had had problems with leadership. We had had leadership that was deceitful. Yes, we had had leadership that was visionless. That leadership today is still lacking vision. They rush to do things in a thoughtless manner. And we will do things in the right way for the development of the people of Kondo State. The people of the South, the Lager, SLO, they can become very, very rich. But you can only be rich if we turn your asset a liability for now. Environmental degradation, the beach that is polluted. If we invest money, good money, into clearing those things, put infrastructure in place, turn us in estates there, put industrial base in position across the state.